You can use filtering in VS Code's POMS view to view just a subset of errors from your current project. Now, here I have the POMS view open, but if you're wanting to view this, let me just hide it here. You can always just click down in the status bar on the POMS entry down here, and that will go and show the POMS view. So one common use case of filtering is actually filtering based on the type of error. So in this example, you can see that I have nine errors across two different files, and the first one here is an error. The second one is a warning. These two are actually warnings. And then these other ones are all information errors. So if I want to exclude these information errors, for example, I could go up to the filter box here, go over to the little filter icon over here, and then click on it. And here I can choose which type of problems I want to be visible. So I'm going to just go and say show infos, and I'm going to uncheck that so that now it's only showing errors and warnings. I could also go and uncheck warnings so that it's now only showing errors and then go back and start enabling the ones that I'm interested in. Now you can also filter based on the error message itself. So I could just go into this text box and start typing. And you can see that now it's, it's only matching the errors that have the word missing in there, for example. I could do unknown, for example. Now it's only showing the errors that have um, unknown in their error message. But I could also start filtering based on the file name. So if I only wanted to show errors in the readme file, I could say readme. And now it's filtering based on the readme file up here. So that's another way that you can filter. And then a third way is actually filtering using glob patterns. So here you can see that I have errors in a markdown file and a TypeScript file. And if I only wanted to see the errors in this TypeScript file up here, I could type out the full file name, so resource loader, or I could use a glob pattern. So I'm just going to say star.ts in the filter here. And this is saying, only show the errors from any file that ends in .ts. And now you can see that, sure enough, I'm only seeing the errors from this resource loader.ts file here. This can be especially helpful when you're dealing with a lot of errors across a lot of different files in your project. So that's filtering in VS Code's problems view. If you're dealing with a lot of problems or you're trying to identify one set of problems in particular, this can be super helpful.